Hello everyone. Here is our most recent video, where we delve further into some genuinely revolutionary discoveries. I can't wait to share all the most recent developments with you, so let's get started. Let's discuss the recent judgments made by the SEC. It appears that they suffered a major setback, and it will be important to watch what steps they take next. It's intriguing that Chair Gensler is scheduled to speak later. This is a great chance to find out about any prospective appeals that they should be aware of. Let's move on to some exciting news from the finance industry before the ripple in Dubai. The Swell Conference got underway. The Financial Services Authority approved XRP for use in the financial services industry. People, this is huge. Follow me through to the conclusion to learn more. Check out this new video right now if you think this sounds like something you'd be interested in. Greetings to all, and welcome to our channel where we discuss the most recent developments regarding XRP and the cryptocurrency industry as a whole. If you are watching one of our films for the first time, we would be happy to extend a special greeting to you. To ensure you never miss another film, we cordially ask you to press the notification bell. We are announcing that 200 XRP will be given away on this channel. Simply like this video, subscribe to the channel, and comment with the hashtag XRP to be eligible to participate. The winner will be revealed on November 15th. Dubai is now the first country in the world to accept XRP for all financial transactions, although the price of XRP may not rise right away. Believe me, you should stay to hear the complete tale. Hey, the family is wealthy. Your reliable resource for anything XRP in connection with that. Before we delve in, please do me a favor and smash that like button, click subscribe, and toggle on notifications to join. To secure the financial side of the remarks with the introduction of their new Ripple payments, your place, Ripple Labs, is creating a stir and increasing cryptocurrency liquidity. Choices and who else than HSBC Holdings is jumping on the digital asset bandwagon. They are preparing to provide institutional clients with a digital asset custody solution that focuses on tokenizing physical. The crypto community should take note of this action for a number of reasons. First, HSBC and Medico will work together to meet Medico's storage needs. As you may recall, earlier this year, Ripple, the brains behind XRP, paid a staggering $250 million to acquire Medico, and HSBC is the biggest bank in Europe in terms of total assets. And their partnership with Medico currently oversees enormous amounts of gold. Global ramifications are immense. In 2021, HSBC oversaw assets under custody valued at roughly $10.8 trillion. With their digital asset issuing platform, SBC Orion, which handles the tokenization of physical gold using the most recent advancements, they're already ahead of the game. SBC is poised to transform blockchain-based financial applications. This is next. Why should you care about these developments? JP Morgan Chase, the largest bank in America, recently made headlines with their blockchain-based collateral settlement. The future of banking and blockchain technology is being shaped particularly with JP Morgan preparing to use ISO 2022 from the start. You should surely stay educated at this crucial time, so keep watching as we continue to shed light on this subject. I've been making references to this for a while, so it's time we talked about it. Major banks are planning to take a larger share of the market, and I've been getting ready for them to do so. They won't just sit back and wait till 2025. I appreciate you keeping an eye out for those banks. They may declare their intentions for 2025 in public, but they are already preparing for action in the background. They are prepared to act quickly. Please mark your calendars for an early launch. They're doing a big live event on November 19th, and it might be an exciting game changer, or it might be disappointing. We'll simply have to wait and see, but keep in mind that 2022 is a crucial year, so pay close attention to the priority levels, which are over the roof. Morgan JP as the financial world slowly moves from the west to the east, the titan of the U.S. banking industry is setting the pace. Ponds in Dubai, China, is strategically positioned in the Middle East. You should too, don't you think? Remember to subscribe and hit the like button. Whether you're an experienced investor or are just getting started, subscribe to our channel and join the discussion. Remember, it's all about making the correct decisions. Similar to a golf putt, you could be on a three or four, let's discuss how to refine your approach.
On the cryptocurrency rise by the end of this video, I'll provide some advice on navigating this area without becoming a victim. To fear uncertainty and doubt, also known as FOMO, fear of missing out. ESB in particular, this isn't financial advice, but it's important to make informed decisions based on other news from a major fintech business during market downturns. Using demand liquidity and a new MSO license, Asia is growing its service offerings in Hong Kong. For remittance and payment, provided services despite its moniker, which paradoxically speaks to the state of the market today, FOMO has partnered with International Paymas. Similar to PayPal, Visa, and Alipay, this shows that XRP is becoming more and more in demand as a bridge currency for international transactions. The Bank for International Settlements and their Creative Money Flower model was recently brought to light by Lynette Jen of the Black Swan Capitalist Show. This could be a crucial tool for hastening the early adoption of cryptocurrencies like XRP and Exanum, and former U.S. Treasurer Rosie Rios has already spoken about the crypto train. Not kidding, she was leaving the station. Recently, the bank's money blossom model for overseas settlements underwent a significant modification. According to Borg, the utility settlement coin, USC, was launched in place of the part devoted to private cryptocurrencies. Major private banks and a fintech company have come up with a daring idea. To create a series of digital tokens that represent various national currencies and make them exchangeable on a distributed ledger platform. This raises an important concern, though, may imagine each nation's USC value on this ledger being backed by an equivalent amount of their local currency safely maintained in segregated reserve accounts at their respective central banks. This could be a hint at Ripple and XRP's involvement. The consequences of switching to XRP are significant. The potential annual savings on SWIFT fees alone might be as high as $5 billion, and that doesn't even account for the additional banking. Let's focus on the savings made by issuing several middlemen and standard Nostro and Vostro accounts. Africa is home to abundant resources including up to 90% of the world's deposits of chromium and platinum and 40% of the world's internal renewable freshwater sources. It's hardly shocking that the countries Brazil, Russia, India, and BRICS, in addition to wanting to challenge Western financial dominance and open the door for a new blockchain financial system backed by commodities, China and South Africa are eager to include South Africa in their alliance. The introduction of the central bank digital currency is also quickly approaching. Published an opinion-provoking report. Titled with the actual CBC, Kindly Take a Seat, showcasing the new environment. To help with the implementation of these CBCs, Ripple is leading the way by partnering strategically with central banks. Let's make a historical comparison to the fall of Rome, when the currency was devalued and good money was driven into hiding by the inflow of bad money. It's an intriguing analogy to the historical changes in the financial system that we are currently witnessing including countries hoarding gold and other precious metals, as their currencies devalue due to actions like coin clipping was a major factor in the development of early counterfeit money. But here's how governments amuse the public by providing circuses and free beer, which brought to mind the Colosseum in ancient Rome, the arena where gladiators fought. It's remarkably reminiscent of contemporary entertainment genres such as UFC but dressed more like our times. The goal of the replacement tops and loincloth strategy was to keep the populace occupied and unaware of the impending fall of the empire. In the present day, we are seeing a comparable situation. Appearing on a worldwide scale as an American who cherishes freedom and ideals, I see a similarity between what this country stands for and how we're handling these challenging times. We feel as though we must fight constantly to acquire freedom. The idea of freedom is exclusive to humans. That's the reason we, the so-called crypto degenerates, as I like to call us, are acting out of all the species on Earth. In a metaphorical sense, we're pulling our trucks up to the bank, ready to jump on changing possibilities. The financial picture is favorable, but we're not packing up shop because we understand that the value of blockchain technology outweighs the dollar's declining purchasing power due to inflation. Scattered ledger as we navigate these changes, keep in mind that knowledge is power. By knowing the past and present, we can better prepare for the future.
Stay tuned as we continue to explore these themes and unpack what they mean for our financial freedom and the future of currency. Technology and cryptocurrencies are on the rise. Kindly keep me in mind. I do not hold a financial advisory license. These videos material is only meant to be watched for enjoyment. I always advise viewers that before making any financial decisions, they should do their research and speak with experts. Many thanks if you liked the video, please tune in. Would you kindly give it a thumbs up and remember to click the subscribe button as well. Ensure that the notifications are turned on. To be the first to know about the introduction of fresh content that I'm eager to watch, I hope you enjoy the upcoming video.